Hey, Holistic Health Crusaders, Dr. Ren here, and today I'm going to tell you about one of my all-time top five life-saving tinctures, and that is tincture of capsicum. You heard right, that's cayenne pepper tinctured in here, and let me tell you how it can save your life. So a little bit of background on how I came across tincture of capsicum is growing up as a young girl, I would suffer tremendously from horrible nosebleeds. So horrible, my parents would always take me to the hospital and have it cauterized. It actually ran in the family because Ammo, who I lovingly refer to as Mamo, had the same problem when she was a young girl. So when I was studying naturopathy and becoming a certified natural health professional, I was in a class instructed by Professor Philip Fritchie. And just as a side note comment, he happened to mention how capsicum can stop a nosebleed, aka hemorrhaging, heart attack, and stroke on the spot. So I'm like, hmm, I took a quick note and as soon as I got home, I, 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 he didn't specify, you know, liquid versus powder versus whatever. So I got home and I got my hands on all the capsicum I could find, whether it was, you know, the uh, capsulation form dried or, you know, the tincture, of course. So, you know, a couple months passed by here in New Jersey. It was summertime when I had come across that little tidbit of life-saving information. And a couple months passed by, and we had turned on the heat for the first time in the house. And my nose was just like Niagara Falls. So my parents grabbed their coats, and they're like, are you ready to go to the hospital and have it cauterized? And I said, no, wait, I've got capsicum. So I run to my cabinet, and they're looking at me like, what is she up to now? And I start pulling out all kinds of, you know... I have my whole shelf here yeah, with all my different herbs and supplements and things. And I find the dried capsicum. So I pop them in my mouth and chug down some water and, you know, it's just not happening. I, I didn't get this instantaneous result that our professor had said would happen. And actually, I, I don't really like taking the capsicum in this kind of form. It reminds me of those old days when we all tried out the Beyonce diet. And once they would get in and, you know, start the gelatin capsule would start to break up in my in my gut, I would start, you know, burping up the, the peppery and it was just uncomfortable. Uh, so then I reached for the liquid capsicum, the, the dropper form. And immediately I, I held it sublingually under my tongue and I did notice that the stream became less intense, but it didn't stop it completely. So I took it and put it on a tissue and stuck it up my nose. And lo and behold, my parents gaping jaw dropped. My nose just like a faucet turned off and that was it. No more bloody nose, no hospital, no cauterization, no nothing. So... I always keep capsicum in my purse uh, wherever I go in case of an emergency. Now, a few months later, of course, you know, Diva here happened to switch purses and not put the capsicum in the new purse. And at the time, I was working in an environment doing auditing and uh, inspections and investigations, sort of, you know, cool stuff. So I'm there at the office and I'm on camera in a state facility. And all of a sudden, my nose starts bleeding again, like Niagara Falls completely. And I'm like, oh no, I don't have capsicum. And a couple of the emergency response officials that were on duty in the building came by and they're like, oh, you know, you put the tissue on and hold your head back and, you know, do whatever that they normally tell you to do. And I'm like, no. I'm like, does anybody have any capsicum? And they're looking at me like, I've got 10 heads. And I'm like, D -d go to the break room, in the break room fridge. Do you have hot sauce? And they're like, huh? I'm like, please, just, just somebody get me some hot sauce. So I took hot sauce, just regular generic brand hot sauce. Of course, this one's from Bailey's when I was there studying ethnobotany, the Marie Sharps that they're all nuts about. Um, but needless to say, they got me the capsicum, excuse me, they got me the hot sauce, and they got me like this sake cup looking kind of thing, and I poured the hot sauce in, and right in front of everyone who's trying to tell me to pinch in this and put the ice and whatever, I, I shot it, and then I put it at my nose, and right in front of these emergency response officials on camera in a state facility, my nose stopped bleeding. Everyone was blown away. I mean, what 
proof more could you have than that? And then, of course, I had to write a facility incident report outlining, well, I proceeded to direct such and such to grab the hot sauce from the employee break room. So yeah, that was, that was completely went over great down in uh, the capital of New Jersey. Um, but also just two more tidbits about capsicum. Of course, Dr. Wren recommends it in its liquid tincture form for the fastest results. Um, but in regard to it, I have not personally tested it on stroke or heart attack to prevent that on the spot. However, my professor, I recall, did say that if you do use it for a heart attack, that you will know if it's a true heart attack because it will not burn or be spicy when you administer it. However, a lot of times some people have a false alarm, agita, gas, whatever, they think they're having a heart attack and you administer this and it's hot, it means it's not a true heart attack like you know, they just got a poot or something. So anyway, Holistic Health Crusaders, I hope that helped. Uh, capsicum to stop nose bleeding, you know, hemorrhaging, bleeding in general. I've used it also on abrasions and things. Um, heart attack and stroke on the spot. So big Renzi smooches. Love yous.